it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to walk you through how to load your media and set up a media profile the first time that you use it uh, with your Roland BY20. Now, the exact same process applies for the Roland BN220 and 20A. So you are going to hear me reference that at times because it's essentially the same video. So I'm just kind of, you know, using uh, some information that we already have for the purposes of this video. So what you're going to do is this is your film uh, for DTF. So you don't have to use 20 inch film. You can use 15 or 12 inch, whatever you have. Um, as long as it hits along one of these spots here where the pinch roller can be moved, you can use it. So, okay. So you have your roll of media here and it is hanging over the front like this. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are actually going to pull it this way and there's two there are two arrows underneath here, and that is where um, the sheet is going to go. So we will place the material up. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna come across the top, come through the top, okay? Now, it's really important that you listen for the two beeps. This bar needs to be completely up so that the material can run through underneath the rollers. Now, you're gonna listen, you're gonna pull, you hear that vacuum? Once the vacuum comes on, you're gonna pull it a little bit more until you hear that second beep, okay? Once you hear that, you wanna make sure that this roller here is, under, is on one of these blue spots, okay? This is any position that this left roller can be on. This is an eight, uh, 20 inch material, so we want it to be all the way over. This roller here is stationary where the blade is set. You wanna make sure it's pressed completely to the right and can't go any further. Once you've got that, you're gonna take the uh, lever bar and press that down and the vacuum will turn off, okay? Then you wanna make sure that this is taunt, okay? So watch here, it's, you can see it's pulling it, not too taunt that it's going to buckle this, but taunt enough that it is not, um, uh, set like sagging essentially. All right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to return to the utility. Okay. So here is, uh, the DG connect, and this is basically your central, uh, hub for everything that is going to help you run your BN2. So what you can see is that my machine is currently listed as standby. Now the BN2 utility is where you want to go when you are going to uh, load a new material or begin a new print and cut. Okay, so we're going to click open and this is the utility that is going to open. So the first thing that we want to do, you can see that it doesn't have an option here for cutting or anything. It's currently telling me this is the status. These are the directions. It's currently telling me I need to load media, which we did. So we want to click setup. After setup is add is um, opens, then we have this second window. Now, um, if this is your first time loading a media, you need to add the type of media that you're using. I am have already added the media, but I'm going to show you how. To, I'm I am going to show you how to do this. So what we're going to do is we have you have see all of these options that you have up here, uh, change media, media, blah 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 blah. So plus sign is going to be to add the media. So name the type of media that you're using. Uh, GCVP2, just so we can distinguish it, okay? And what that's going to do is load the, now it's telling me what I need to do next. Load the media, which we did. Make sure the loading lever is lowered. Click start to setup, and then we're gonna click okay. Now, you can hear, it's telling me, you can probably hear that vacuum, and it's telling me that I have the front cover open, which I do. So this is really good because it tells you everything you need to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to close this lever and it's going to uh, sense that. And now that you, now you can see that in the utility, it is telling me that the setup is in progress. You see the print head moving back and forth. It is finding the width of the material. It's asking me what I am going to do with this type of material. So this is a printable material. I'm going to select that I want to print only or print and cut and click OK. Now, this is really important. This is what you are going to do to begin all of um, the basically calibrations. You only need to do this when you are working with a new material for the first time. Okay, so you're just going to follow through what you wanna do. Output basically means print. 
Okay, move is you're gonna move the print head um, or the cutting position. Sheet cut is it's literally going to cut the sheet from the roll. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want to tell it that we want to print a nozzle check, okay? If you're not sure how to do anything, you can click, you can view the, the video to see how to do it. So check, check the print head um, discharge conditions. Click output to print the test pattern. So we're gonna do that first. Now, we need to wait for the heater to warm up. Okay, so just wait for it, give it a couple of minutes, let it warm up, and then um, it will begin printing the uh, nozzle check. Um, but if you need a refresher, a nozzle check, as you can see here, is this basically grid pattern showing you how each of the cartridges, ink cartridges, is printing. Um, what you want is something that has that is not missing any nozzles. So missing any nozzles means that there are little spaces between where another line should be. You can see it, it's highlighted here, showing you that a nozzle is missing here. If a nozzle or a line um, in the print in the nozzle check is missing, you then want to do a cleaning. So we're not we don't know yet if we need to do a cleaning. I can pretty much assure you that I probably don't since this is actually the second time that I'm doing this setup um, for the sake of this video. But I will tell you that you are going to evaluate the nozzle check and then you are going to determine the next steps. But we first have to wait for that nozzle check to print. Okay, so the, the nozzle check printed. It's difficult to see, so I will lift this, and what we can see here is the nozzle check has printed. Now, it's, if you are having trouble seeing it, which it depends probably on your eyesight and the position of your printer, what you can do is actually move that out. But I'm just going to leave it here so and evaluate it from here. Okay, so this nozzle check is not missing any nozzles so I don't need to do any type of cleaning okay now it's telling me check whether there is any dot drops nozzles that are missing to eliminate the dot drops perform a head cleaning we don't need to do that if you did have missing nozzles you are going to click execute for normal cleaning um, you can also do a manual cleaning, which if it's a brand new machine, you should not have to do that. You also have these other types of cleanings, medium and power. That's basically if you are um, continuously missing nozzles or if you are missing a whole lot, um, always start though with a normal cleaning. Now, one thing that I wish that this had was basically like a one, two, three. This looks like it's a paragraph. It's basically like do this step first, do this step second, do this step third. So keep that in mind. We're going to click OK and it's going to move us to the next step. So we wanna select the media adjustment. We're just gonna tell it we wanna do it automatic. So it's gonna say, okay, the, fo the following items will be executed. Sensor adjustment, feed correction, uh, media gap adjustment. Click okay to print the test pattern. A printing area with a width of 300 millimeters is required. Okay, go ahead, do your thing. It is, the, so much of this setup is automatic that we wanna just let it do it, let it guide us through. Okay, so it's telling me, you know, it's working right now. If I want to pause it, I can. I really want to avoid trying to pause it. Okay, it's telling me the new media setup is complete. So that's perfect. So now it is possible, as it's telling me, to output media. So some of the verbiage is a little bit confusing or can be a little bit confusing, but so you know, it is now ready and loaded. So let's just go back. Let's close this out. And I want to show you, it's going to ask me, do you want to exit? Yes, I do. I want to show you what's going to happen the next time you open up the utility and you are trying to um, print on this type of media. So, so again, it's telling me that I need to load the media. This is as if we had no media loaded, which we obviously do. We're going to click setup. Now it's going to ask me, which one of these are you using? So eventually you will probably have, you know, I don't know, however many types of material you use, whether that's HTV, a holographic, banner material, paper, photo, whatever you're using, you'll have a media uh, for each of them. So you're going to select the one that you're using and you will click OK. 
And then it's going to tell you, load the media, make sure the loading lever is, this is you know what we already went through. We're gonna click okay. It is going to check to make sure that the, that the media has been loaded correctly. So we don't need to go through all of that nozzle check and all of those other checks that we did before in all of our subsequent uh, prints or prints and cuts. We just need to do that um, the very yeah. first time. And that's it. So once you've done those nozzle checks and the other print checks, you are ready to go. Now you do not need to repeat that process every time you put a new roll in only if you are using a new type of material for the first time okay so that whole process where you're adding the new media and having it do all those checks you don't have to do that every time now of course you will as regular maintenance need to do a nozzle check regularly but you don't need to go through that whole process and with the by 20 it's actually even easier and faster and you're going to do that even fewer times because you're more limited on the types of material that you're using as opposed to as you saw with the bn uh, to 20 or 20A where you can print on a whole slew of materials, vinyl, HTV, uh, holographic sticker paper, banner, all these different types of things. Um, but with the BY, it's mostly going to be film. It might be a different brand of film, which you would want to do a new uh, profile for that. But otherwise, um, you are pretty much good to go. And now you are ready to do your very first uh, DTF print. So I have a separate video on that that will take you start to finish. And of course, if you're looking for anything else, if you're looking for uh, links to get the best bundles, if you're looking for one-on-one uh, -on -one help options with me, if you are looking for uh, more DTF videos, anything, all of that stuff is in the description below and on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.